Hello teams, I just wanted to give you a quick update as you're getting ready for your competition. Uh, super excited to see you guys at the various competitions this year. Uh, one item I want to call your attention to as you're preparing is um, in the Robot Game Rulebook on page 17, which is rule number five. Rule number five states that teams can use any software or programming language, and then it continues. Robots must be autonomous during the match. No remote controllers of any type are allowed. What that means is on your program, you cannot use the play button for that. Instead, you would need to switch the programs using the arrow buttons on your, your Spike Prime hub. And one of the things that the referees will be checking is to be sure that Bluetooth is turned off. And the way you check that Bluetooth is turned off is you look for the button in the top right corner of your hub and there should not be any blue ring around it. That button should not be illuminated. So as you're preparing and practicing, uh, please make sure that that's turned off in your practice runs that you know how to run that. And let me just talk to you a little bit about how to set that up. So here's the Spike Prime software. And you can see here, I have two different programs set up here to run on my Spike Prime. And you'll notice that down here in the corner, this is the zero. This is a program position number. And both of these have the same program position number. So my first program, um, I want to have program position zero. But then the next one, I want to set this to program position one. And I can click on this and then hit the right arrow and that changes that to program position one. So now when I run it or download it, it will go into program position one. And the best way to practice this is to save your programs and then come here and hit this down button right there and it will download it to the hub. And you can do that with the Bluetooth on, and then once the Bluetooth is turned off, uh, you'll be able to run that on the robot itself. So I'm going to go to that one. I'm going to download it. I will come here to my other one. It's on zero, and I'll go ahead and download that one. And you can see it's downloading to the hub. And once that's downloaded, now I can turn off the Bluetooth, and you can tell whether it's connected here. I can either turn it off or I can click on this hub connection and I can disconnect it here. And then the Bluetooth will stay on, but it will disconnect from there and it will want to reconnect it. But you wanna make sure that that blue button is turned off um, on your robot hub when you're practicing. So again, that's how you can change the position numbers. And then if you do them in order, all you have to do is from move from one program to the next program to the next program. And it's very easy to do at the competition table. Good luck teams and have a great day.